My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? Uh, so uh, before Studio One Four was released, I did a video showing how to move a session from Studio One, or how to export your files from Studio One to be able to import them in Pro Tools or any other DAW. Uh, I said in that video I would do one going from Pro Tools to other DAWs, and I never did. So I'm doing that video now, and now that Studio One Four has come out, it has a feature that is uh, AAF support, and what that does is it allows you to import. Uh, AAF files which Pro Tools can export as. So I'm going to show you two things here. First is going to be the AAF support, how to export uh, from Pro Tools as AAF and then we'll look at importing that into Studio One uh, 4, version 4. If you're on Studio One 3 or older then I'll show you just the standard way to get your stems out of Pro Tools where you can put it in Studio One or Logic or Ableton or any other DAW that you're working in. Uh, we'll look at the AAF support first. Uh, so this is a quick uh, vocal session that I did in Pro Tools today. And for your AAF support, you're just going to go to File, Export, and you're going to uh, select uh, selected tracks as new AAF. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go ahead and select all the tracks here. And go back to that and So it's going to ask you, you want to export as AAF or OMF. We're going to go with AAF. Now this uh, target project time code, this is if you're dealing with video or just dealing with audio here. So that's fine. And you've got your format, bit depth. Uh, I'm not sure what this handle size is. From here, I'm just going to hit OK. This is going to be the, the same name as what the session is right now. So that's fine. And we're going to ask where to save it to. I'm going to go back to my Pro Tools folder and we'll drop it uh, there there we go and actually we'll just name this AAF okay choose a folder I thought that's what we just did but okay All right, we'll give that a, a second to export. Okay, so that's done. And now what I'm gonna show you how to do is get your just your stems out if you're not doing AAF. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is just gonna select all here, highlight all of our tracks. And I'm gonna, because, Bar one doesn't start at bar one on every DAW. So just like with the Studio One video where I moved everything to bar two, I'm going to do the same thing here. We're just going to slide this over to bar two so everything starts at two. And then I'm going to highlight all of the tracks again. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure all the files start at uh, one. And to do this, you're going to consolidate the file. So I've highlighted everything. and you'll notice some of these tracks have blank space in the beginnings. We want all these tracks to be the same length. So this is under edit and consolidate clip. We've got everything selected. That's going to consolidate all of these files and it's gonna make everything the same length. And did I not go back far enough? Okay, I did. So yeah, everything is starting at one. So now anyone can drop these WAV files into any DAW. From here, we're gonna uh, shift Apple K if you're on a Mac for uh, export. And I actually don't know, let's see, export. Yeah, I'm not even sure where it is in the, in the menus here. I just always use the key command to export which is that uh, shift apple K. So the format interleaved is going to be your, uh, it's gonna leave stereo files to stereo, multiple mono, it'll take stereo files and split them between two separate files, the left and the right. We're gonna leave it as uh, interleaved, bit depth, sample rate should match your session. And we're gonna create a folder here. And let's see, we're gonna go back 
I like to create a folder and call it uh, just stems. And I also like to put the BPM in here, which is 90 uh, for this song, uh, BPM 90. And that is where we're going to export these files to. So uh, that's it. That's how you export your stems out of Pro Tools to go into another DAW. Uh, let's take a look at um, Studio One now. We'll open up this AAF file in Studio One uh, that we exported from Pro Tools uh, just so I can uh, show you how that works. So I've got Studio One 4 Pro here, and we're gonna open up this AAF file that we just exported from Pro Tools. So we're gonna just uh, take this AAF file, and we're gonna drag it into the session here. Let's see, they're all there. And it is uh, rebuilding the session here. Let's take a closer look. And so there we go. So like it did uh, create a left and right for uh, the track. Now we've got all the vocal takes here. And yeah, so you can easily uh, import a AAF file just by dragging and dropping it into the session. And again, the other way we did with the stems, you can uh, just take those WAV files and you can drop those in a session as well. All right. Any questions, comments, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time.